Okay, welcome to the first video for the strip out of this crafter. We're going to uh, show you how we're going to strip this out before we start the rebuild to turn it into a camper van. So the crafter's got a full length bulkhead that will come out today. That's held in um, predominantly with these T25 screws and with a load of 10mm bolts. So we'll have all of those out. One of the things you need to bear in mind is that you need to keep the top of the bulkhead if you want to use that as a pattern to put a cupboard in uh, into the roof space later. The crafter has also got a number of uh, tie down channels which need to be removed. They're riveted in as well as this white plastic coating in place of ply. Uh, that They need to be removed as well. They're riveted in. The bulkhead, the feet of the foot of the bulkhead folds over into the cab so you need to start in the cab really to loosen that off first and to make this much easier we're going to actually since we're putting new seats in we're going to actually start by removing uh, this twin passenger seat which is held in with four t50 bolts uh, one on each corner at the back and two in the middle front and back in the middle so we take those out first Okay, so that's the seat removed and tip forward one thing that you need to be cautious of is any wiring that you've got for either seat belt pretensions or seat belt warning lights um, if you have to disconnect this make sure you don't turn the ignition on while it's disconnected so the next thing we're going to do is to start removing some of these fixings from the actual bulkhead itself so uh, quite a number of these Torx 25 um, come out fairly easy with a screwdriver. To these uh, 10 mil nuts, which I've already loosened, um, and we take all of those off. The 10 mil nuts are um, fixed on the other side, so you don't need to get some of these to hold the bolt on the other side. Now we've got the bulkhead out, and we've cleaned up this. We'll start to clean up this piece of the floor. The next thing to do is get rid of this plastic. That's uh, that's panelling the inside of the van and to get rid of these strips of load retention stuff. So these are all riveted in. So the best way to get rid of pop rivets is just to use a drill. So rivets this size five and a half, six mil drill. Um, just drill through the rivet until um, the rivet breaks. Try not to press too hard, otherwise you end up going up against the outside of the van and you might have to it's broken like that the top will come away and then you can remove the thing okay so that's the van stripped out pretty much um, we've got all the cladding off the sides the lower bulkhead completely removed uh, all of that load strip has been removed what we have discovered is that we've got some rock which has been poorly patched inside so this is a common problem with these crafters and with sprinters where um, the holes aren't sealed up behind the plastic um, and they rot in that cavity so um, we're going to have to have all of the plastic trims off the side which we were going to do anyway and have a look and see what welding needs to be done to repair that um, we've started to clean the floor up the floor's cleaning up quite well um, so a little bit of cure rust on there um, and some um, some primer and a bit of white paint will sort that out nicely. We've got some pretty bad rot at the back of the van. Where this whole panel's rotted out. So once we get the floor up, so it's pointless trying to just trying to patch over that because uh, that will just keep rotting if you patch over it. So we're going to have to cut out the worst or all of the rot out of there and weld some new panels in um, to repair that but hey it's uh, it's an 11 year old van you've got to expect some issues here and there 